Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show how to fix the TTY1 error, no GUI in Kali Linux 2024.4. So, let's get started. The TTY1 error is one of the most common issues users face when installing a fresh copy of Kali Linux. Instead of the expected graphical user interface, you are stuck with only the command line interface. But don't worry, I'll guide you through the steps to restore the GUI. First, log in to your Kali Linux system using the non-root user that you created during installation. Once you have successfully logged in, we can proceed to the next step. After logging successfully into the Kali Linux, we have to check the repository file. The repository file is located at etc slash apd slash sources dot list. You can check and edit the file using the nano command. I will give the all commands below in the description. To save the file, press Ctrl plus O, then enter, and to exit, press Ctrl plus X. Now after checking the repository file, we have to update the Kali Linux. We have to update the Kali Linux using this command, sudo apt update. This will fetch the latest package information from the repositories. Now after updating the Kali Linux, we have to install the desktop environment. Since we need a graphical interface, we have to install a desktop environment. Kali Linux supports XFCE Genome and KDE. Here, we will install the default XFCE desktop environment using the following command. sudo apt install hyphen y Kali hyphen desktop hyphen genome or KDE or XFCE. I want XFCE desktop environment so I will use here XFC. Now this installation depends on your internet speed. Once the installation is complete, reboot your system using this command. sudo reboot. When your system restarts, you should now see the graphical login screen. Enter your credentials and you'll have access to the Kali Linux GUI interface. And that's it. You have successfully fixed the TTY1 error and restored the GUI in Kali Linux 2024.4. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.